Greetings, survivors. Today, I will be your guide on Monday. Yes, it's Monday. It's a hard day, but we're here to make it better. So I hope you guys enjoy this little patch note reading that I'm going to go over. But first, I would like to thank the TWS team for sending me a little birthday present here. If you guys aren't part of the VIP club, this club is pretty cool. I think it's pretty special. They sent me a little happy birthday um, present here. My birthday is on the 4th of August, so three days. And I thought this was just really cool to wake up to. You know, we got a couple of resources, 10,000 minutes of speed ups, and a, and a cool little uh, bronze frame here. And a small little update, I did get my mod today on S245. I'll be looking forward to uh, potentially playing with a lot of you. Um, we're gonna be here for a while. This is gonna, this is gonna be amazing and we're gonna have a lot of fun. So I really hope that once you guys watch this video, you guys just... All right, so let's get straight into it. We have uh, a new update coming out here on the 2nd of August at 05 tomorrow between 08 so about three hours for the maintenance there uh probably less but they just give themselves a little bit extra time just in case let's dive in and, and read what we got new for uh tomorrow full rollout rollout of achievements it's a beta test you can earn medals and rewards for accomplishing achievements also rubies you can put medals on display in your player information page for yourself and others to see and you can view achievements of others in their player information page Cool, so it looks like we're gonna have uh, a little achievement page and they're gonna give us rewards for earning these achievements. I mean, I love achievements. I hope you guys love achievements. That's, that's kind of a cool addition. We'll, have, we'll see some more rewards from that and we'll probably get a little bit of player information as we'll be able to see their trophies as well. So that's good. More information, better. Great. <clears throat> so they're gonna have a full rollout of teamwork time, which is a beta test. Teamwork time is a competition of the strongest clan the event will start on August 3rd and will take place bi-weekly, which will alternate with the Strongest Survivor event. Okay. Interesting. Full rollout of the teamwork time. I'll be interested to see how that works. That's that's nice. We get something in between our Strongest Survivor to keep us going. Keep it going. Thank you so much, PWD. Best of three restricted zone tournament. This is a beta test. Now, I did read this prior. It says it's only available to regions 337 and 352, which uh, is okay. We won't really know what that is yet. Warzone 7. <clears throat> Interesting. So they're going to have knockout stages of a best of three system. The clan who wins two matches is the winner and advances to the next round. The matches take place in one weekend. The first match is on Saturday and the second match is on Sunday. If none of the two clans has two wins, a third and decisive match starts immediately after the match on Sunday with the same participants. No changes or substitutions will be allowed for this final match. That's really cool. That's exciting. I, I really hope they roll that out to other uh, servers eventually. That's that's awesome. Important, if you withdraw from the battlefield on the first match on Sunday, you cannot participate in Sunday's decisive battle. Of course, that makes sense. And number four here, this is kind of cool, right? So defending formations in a building that are defeated will automatically return home and will need to be resent to battle manually. So the way that I kind of interpret this, we'll have to see when we start receiving some attacks on our battle, on our uh, outposts, uh, you know, expedition base and clan outposts. But it looks like when you're defeated, you're not going to just sit there with like your partial formations it's just going to kick you out right away, which means these battles are going to be a lot faster and you are going to lose a little bit less, right? Because they're not going to just keep pounding into your army. That's at, you know, 10K, 7K, 4K, etc. So after that initial loss, you will just be kicked out and you'll have to manually send back your army. This new rule does not apply to Tides of the Dead. That makes sense. Like You could expect that because Tides of the Dead is... Um, very upkeepy. You want to make sure that you're always on top of your Tides of the Dead. And last but not least here, number five, it says, during maintenance, formations that are building or garrisoning an allied town will no longer be sent back home. Awesome. That is something that has been quite, quite an issue because you do lose some time depending on when the maintenance rolls out and the time that you go to bed, which coincides with my schedule mostly. Um, you get back online and all your formations are no longer building or garrisoned. So this is actually a huge update, a big quality of life, and 
that's just that's awesome i'm glad they they have fixed that and it is now good to go so um they say we wish you a great time playing i really do believe that so thank you tws team so much for putting this together put it giving us a new update and keeping us going strong i hope this cleared up some of the patch notes for you guys i love going over them with you and i appreciate um you guys this time so much i hope you guys have a lovely monday you know keep at it keep grinding strong and uh don't forget to like comment subscribe and a quick side note i will be recruiting pretty heavily for server s245 so at the end of season four if you at the end of our season four um or any of your seasons if you'd like to transfer to s245 please direct message me on discord or in the comment section and we'll get you set up and put into our uh, clan we've got big things going on and uh you know future videos that i'm kind of thinking of are going to be a lot of like a diary type journal like things that happen day to day on server 245 is going to be a big focus of mine as we are completing we've completed quite a few guides and um we'll still we'll still do those guides but i want to try to envelop some other things into my content here and we'll just continue on so thank you so much guys you guys have a great day peace what?